the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In a world that reminds us every day of evil in humanity, in a world that bombards us with bad news about how bad humanity is and what human beings would do to each other, in a world where we ourselves struggle every day with our own sinfulness, it is so comforting and uplifting to be reminded that humanity is capable to have God dwelling within her. It is so comforting and uplifting to know that I, the sinful I, who struggle every day with my passions and desires, I am capable to have God coming and dwelling within me. It is so comforting to know that in my very core, I am not evil. In my very core, I am the image of God. And God wants desperately to come and to dwell within me. And I am capable of that. Yes, I am capable of evil, I am capable of sin, but that's not who I really am. It's just a wound inflicted on me by the devil. Who I really am is the image of God. Who I really am is the mercy of God. Who I really am is her. The throne of God. And does that only mean? That you and you and every human being, no matter how wounded we are, at our very core, we are the throne of God. We are the temple of the living God within whom God dwells. This is what we are reminded today and every day when we celebrate a feast of the Theotokos. Even more, today we are reminded that if we allow God to come and to dwell within us, when the day will come for our soul to be separated from the body, God will receive our soul into his arms because he was within us. It was so comforting to know that God and humanity became one. This is why in the Orthodox Church we keep many that they will talk of so dear to our hearts. And it is so important to keep honoring her. Because when we honor her, we honor the church. It is so beautiful how in the Orthodox Church, we kept only by the grace of God. Only by the grace of God we kept this beautiful balance between masculinity and femininity. Femininity. God, as Father Tam Hoku would say, God is man, but man is woman. Because God became incarnate as a man, as a male, only for the, for the only reason, because He is to be, He is the bridegroom of humanity. And who stands for humanity, who stands in the church for the whole church, not a man, but a woman. The Theotokos, because she stands for the beautiful bride of Christ. She stands for each and every 
one of us who are trying as much as we can to give our life to the bridegroom. And thus, the bride and the bridegroom, the bridegroom and the bride, Christ and the Church, God and humanity, become one. Become what humanity has always been meant to be from the beginning. One with God. Let us keep this in mind. And when we are bombarded by the bad news of social media, of the news channels, or you name it, when we struggle with our own sinfulness, and when we are tempted by the thought that I am sinful, I am evil, let us remember that we are not. Let us remember and look at her eye and remember that yes, I am capable. I'm not there yet, but I'm capable of becoming like her. I am capable of becoming the temple of the living God. And that's why I was, I was created. I was created to be nothing less than the temple of the living God. Within whom God wants to dwell. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.